What's up, DFW? Today we're talking about sport-related injuries and when to get treatment with Baylor Scott and White. Here in North Texas, we're lucky to enjoy the outdoors, running, and cycling, but sometimes that activity can lead to injury. Dr. Fields Govel is here from Baylor Scott & White Sports Therapy and Research at the Star in Frisco to help us learn more about sports injuries. Dr. Scovel, welcome. Thank you. Can you tell us at what point when you get injured that you actually have to go in and see a doctor? I think there's two things you look for, and that's persistence and progression. That is, uh, <clears throat> say you have some knee pain when you run on occasion, uh, maybe every other time, and not persist to pain every time you run and then last, say, uh, several weeks. It's a good time to go get it checked out. The second thing is progression. So say you have pain just initially when you run, but now it progresses to bother you when you go up and down stairs, get in and out of the car, or do things around the house. That's a good time to go get it checked out. So when your significant other's complaining they can't do chores because they're hurting so much, That's right. you should go to the doctor. When you get sick of hearing about it around the house, then go see the doctor. And they can go see you at a brand new facility at the Star in Frisco. What do you offer there? That's an incredible facility. Uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon, so uh, if you tear a ligament or break a bone, uh, we can do an operation to make that better. But at that facility, we offer so many things. We offer physical therapy, both preventative, uh, that is before uh, they get hurt, and then recovery from surgery. They have a big push at this brand new facility, and it's incredible, to prevent injury. So they can evaluate, say, kids, student athletes, weekend warriors, identify deficiencies, areas where they may be weak or uh, not as mobile so as to prevent injury. And that's a big push out there at the start, Frisco. So maybe besides the amount of complaining that's done about an injury, what are some of the differences between adult injuries and children injuries? Well, there's some subtle differences between kids and adults, but the biggest concern there is uh, because kids are still growing, injuries to ligaments and muscles in and around those growth plates can ultimately affect growth. So you'd want to get that checked out. So I'm not growing, I'm stuck at 5'3"? You're stuck. Okay, well. That's disappointing. <laughs> so what are some of the most in common injuries you see in knees and shoulders? Uh, I'd say the most common thing is overuse, and that is just doing too much uh, of something for too long. And in kids in particular, we're uh, advocating now that you don't play one sport year round. And if you do play sports, play different sports. And uh, if you do play sports, take some time off from that sport. So what else should people know when they're out there? doing activity. Yeah, I think uh, really the most important thing is if uh, you haven't been working out for a while and you're going to start, we'll start slow. So don't walk out into the yard and start running sprints and do 100 of them. Uh, take your time and slowly build up and I think that'll prevent injury. Okay, well I'll definitely take it slow then. No <laughs> sprints for me today. If you'd like to know more about sports injury and therapy, log on to bswhealth.com. I'm Taryn Jones and that's what's up DFW.